How were the Challenger crew remains recovered and identified? Hello, everyone. Today, we're delving into the aftermath of a pivotal event in space exploration history, the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster. We will specifically focus on how the remains of the crew were recovered and identified. Let's get started. The Challenger Disaster On January 28, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart 73 seconds into its flight, leading to the deaths of all seven crew members. The failure of the solid rocket booster O-rings, which were not designed to handle the unusually cold conditions that day, led to a catastrophic chain of events. The Recovery Mission After the tragic event, the U.S. Coast Guard and Navy launched Operation Ocean Look, a large-scale salvage operation to retrieve the Challenger wreckage from the Atlantic Ocean. This operation lasted several weeks, employing an array of ships, submersibles, remotely operated vehicles, and divers. It covered a 420 square nautical mile area off the coast of Florida. The recovery of the crew cabin was a priority. In March 1986, the cabin wreckage was found on the ocean floor. This section of the spacecraft was heavily damaged but still recognizable. Unfortunately, this is also where the remains of the crew members were found. The identification process The process of identifying the Challenger crew was a painstaking and sensitive operation. Forensic techniques, medical examination, and personal effects were used for identification. Because of the violent nature of the incident and the sea conditions, complete remains weren't always available, making this a challenging task. Respecting the crew members' families' privacy, the specifics of this process weren't publicly disclosed in detail. However, it is known that each of the seven crew members' remains were positively identified. The Final Tribute In a private ceremony on April 29, 1986, the identified remains of the crew members were given to their families for burial. In some cases, the crew members were laid to rest at Arlington National Cemetery, a profound honor. This final tribute was a solemn end to an exhaustive and emotionally charged recovery and identification process. The Challenger disaster was a tragic moment in space exploration history. Yet, the recovery and identification of the crew members showcased the commitment and respect of NASA and associated agencies. It's a somber reminder of the real risks involved in space travel and the human cost of exploration. Let's remember and honor these brave individuals who dedicated and ultimately gave their lives in the pursuit of advancing human knowledge. Thank you for joining us today.